This video is on tool holder basics. The main part of a tool holder is a tool holder body. This is a CAT 40 body. This has the uh, noticeable taper right here and the pull stud on top, which you use to put into the machine and the machine actually holds, in, holds onto it and pulls it in to keep it in place. This is a collet. This is used to actually pinch onto the tool inside of this uh, tool holder body you place it in and you squeeze it and it actually compresses onto the tool which in this case is a three quarter inch end mill and then this is a call it nut this is used to actually compress the call it so how you want to actually put this together is you don't actually want to put the call it inside of the body you want to put the call it inside of the call it nut first there is a, uh, a lip inside, so you actually want to go in at an angle and slide it into place until it's seated. Then you want to actually put it and screw it onto the body of the tool holder. You want to hold it and just screw it in, not too much. Before it gets too tight, you want to get the tool, you want to put it inside, and you want to try to snug it up as close to the actual face of the collet nut as possible without having it clamp on the cutting edges or onto the flutes because the more surface area the better. So once I have verified that there is a even and nice surface for it to clamp onto, I will hold it there and rotate the collet nut until it tightens enough onto the tool. This part you want to just do by hand. Now that I have put the tool in there, you want to take this tool holder assembly to the fixture on the side of the machine and use this spanner wrench to actually tighten it. We have another video about how to uh, take out the tool, but to put in the tool and tighten it is just the opposite process. And you want to do it by hand because if you put too much pressure, you can actually damage the threads or the tool or even crack the nut. 